It's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young God, coming to you live in a pink dungeon, or orange dungeon, giving it to you real raw rugged. Just woke up, man. Sorry about that, but, uh, hey, man, speaking of the pink dungeon, you're on the all pink right now, man. But introduce yourself. Before we even get into what you got on, introduce yourself, man. Yo, Lil Xan, Xana, Geek Gang, what's up, everybody? Yeah, man, but I came through with them, goddamn all pink, man. What you, what you got on right now, man? I got the, you know, the pink champion. Pink rose, and I got the pink MCM bag to go with it. I didn't even know they had the pink MCM bag, man. That's how you know I'm broke. I don't know what. I didn't even know they had that right there, man. Yeah, I didn't even know they had that shit either. That shit, they're fire. What you got going on today, man? Uh, just been doing like you know, uh, interviews and stuff, uh, locally. But other than that, uh, I've been uh, pretty not busy today, surprisingly. Well, you know, when you're not busy, not doing interviews, not doing music, when you chilling. What you do in your spare time? My spare time, it's funny because a lot of people be thinking like, oh, I go out and party and do all this wild shit. But to be honest, I be at the crib playing Xbox in my free time. <laughs> I heard you mention something about Xbox one time, and I was that made me ask, what games do you play on Xbox? I be playing Battlefield 1 and like that new Call of Duty uh, World War 2. And I be playing it with the fans too, so it, it works out. What's your uh, what's your gamers up? It's a uh, Xanarchy, please, like Xanarchy P L Z. Xanarchy, please, definitely gonna have to whoop you in some Battlefield one day, man. You know what I'm saying? Have to, have to get you out the paint. Are you somebody that's like athletic? Like, do you ever play sports? Uh, I growing up, I, I was way more athletic. I played soccer and all that, but I could definitely tell you, I'm not athletic at this point in my life. So, I, I mean, because, okay, so when you perform and whatnot, I would imagine you have to build some type of cardio because, like, I'd be jumping around listening to music in my house, and I'm like, damn, I'm tired. I imagine doing it for, like, 30 <laughs> minutes. I feel, I feel you, bro. No, for real. We've, I've had this conversation in my own head a million times. Like, I'd be, like, I'd be going crazy at my shows, and, like, I'll exert, like, all my energy after one song, and I'm like, fuck, I'm so tired. Like, I'm literally, like, out of breath type shit i'm like how am i gonna complete the rest of this show but somehow miraculously my unhealthy ass man just to do it hey man i mean you see you look skinny i'm a skinny nigga you know you gotta hit you gotta hit the gym you gotta get the you know you gotta get the cardio up man because i'm out i'm i'm very out of shape you gotta get in shape man yeah no that that's definitely the next big goal for me i need to hit the treadmill and shit <laughs> Got to. Um, so, all right. So, I was looking at one of your interviews, man. And I seen that you got, like, you said that you were getting face tats before you was rapping, right? So, I was thinking in my head, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, like, if I was, like, before I was rapping, let's say if I was, like, uh, or were you thinking, basically, like, I'm not going to be, like, some type of fans person because you said that you weren't, like, oh, I'm going to be the rapper guy. So, were you thinking, like, hey, am I ever going to get a regular job? Because I'm thinking, like, if I'm your manager and I see you come in with, like, Zs on your face, I'm like, this nigga finna go to sleep on a job. I'm not finna hire this damn nigga right here. I, I ain't going to hire him. Yeah. Yeah, um, there was, yeah, there was definitely, like, a little span of, like, a month or two where I, I was I didn't know what I was going to be. <laughs> and I definitely was like, yeah, uh, probably going to affect a normal, a normal life in general for me. But I, I just ke I kept it at the back of my head and just said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to make it no matter what. No matter what I pursue, these face tasks are coming with me. Hey, man, that's very respectable, man. I, that hurt? Oh, no, nah, they didn't hurt, but the ones on my neck hurt. It's, it's weird, like, di different people got different, like, stories. Like, some people will say the face hurts, some people say no. I think the ones on your body and chest and shit hurt way more. Well, you know, you said you was going to take the uh, face tattoos wherever you go, and I know you was doing photography or whatnot. When you were doing photography, did you shoot anybody, like, notable? Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of who would be the most notable. No, I never really got to that point. It was a bunch of our homies. So, and you basically stopped because your camera got stolen, right? Yeah, I, I stopped. Like, I had just got Photoshop just to show you how early on in my photo career I was. I just bought Photoshop, and the next day, yeah, it literally got taken. And then you said uh, after that is that's when that's when you became a rapper, right? Yeah, yeah, because you know everybody knows it was the option, the the expensive option to buy another camera, or yeah. the cheap option to record. 
so when I first heard about you, yeah, so when I first heard about you, I don't know, it was probably like a couple months ago, and somebody was like, Lizanne, Lizanne, and I seen like, uh, somebody posted a picture of you, and I was thinking in my head when I first seen you, my first thought was like, I'm not finna listen to this white man named Lil Zan, rap about Zans. That was my first thing in my head. So I did research, because that's the type of person I am, and I found out you wasn't white, and then I found out you don't do Zans, and I was like, I don't want to listen to him anymore again, <laughs> but I listened, I listened. And I was like, okay, I see where he's going with this. So, with your name, Lil Zan, do you think niggas is going to be like me and be like, I'm not going to listen to this white man named Lil Zan, even though you're not even white and you don't do Zans? I think I think no matter what, they're going to be like that, to be honest. Like, they just see my face, and they don't even want to listen to the music based off of that <laughs> in general. But that's all good because we got, we got like, the largest growing fan base in rap right now, which is, is a fact. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, that comes with haters, and there's always gonna be haters. I embrace it. That shit's funny. And you know what make you like, I guess, more likable? Cause you're just a likable guy. Like, I like talking to you right now. Like, just to look at you, or probably like hear your name, probably like, oh, I don't want to hear this guy. But like, when you get to know you, you like, bro, this is a cool dude right here. Like, how many times do people ever talk to you and say to see you be like, you know what, I judged you in this, but you actually a cool guy. I feel like you probably get that a lot. Yeah. I actually do get that a lot and it's funny because i mean like to all the haters like they're never gonna you know have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation like we are mm. so they're just gonna they're always gonna assume i'm like a fuck boy or some annoying ass little white kid well, um yeah, and that's how, cause I remember, uh, cause this is exactly like somebody posted something, a picture, and it was like, who is this guy? And I listened to you, and I was like, I didn't understand it, but after a certain time, I feel like you're one of those people you just. I don't know. It's it's one of those things that you got to build an understanding. I I yeah. appreciate what happens. You know what I'm saying, man. I, yeah. I, I'll give you respect, yeah. man. Thank and, you, um, bro. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, definitely. no, yeah. no, nah, nah, keep going. It's that. Oh yeah, it's definitely like that. It's just like, like you can't you can't just judge like you know off like you got to do the research. You know, watch some interviews and just you know see. If that's how you get to know. Uh -huh. And if I keep cutting you off, just keep talking because I'm tired. I'm by my head everywhere. So my fault, bro. I ain't even trying to do all that because I feel like I am. So, all right, all right, all right. So um, yeah, man. And um, and I guess that made me think. How long have you been like uh taking rapping this seriously? Well, like for I, I was like doing it as like a hobby for like a year and six months, like just throwing out records, like just to throw them out there. You feel me? Um, but like. When, when shit got, like, serious, it was, like, six months ago when I was, like, okay, fuck, this is, like, my career and not a hobby at this point. So I would say six months, yeah, is when shit got crazy. Do you – I meant to actually before I switched the conversation, but do you actually come to uh, – like, because I know you said people judge you before they actually get to talk to you. Is that something that you have a problem with yourself? Like, do you ever judge people off top and then get to know them and be like, oh, I probably should have never did that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're all guilty of that. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're all guilty of uh, judging someone and then actually later on, like, fucking with them and shit. Definitely, and even in the music scene, I've, like, just had, like, ideas of certain people, and then I meet them, and I'm like, oh, shit, well, I was totally wrong. So I try to, like, really not be on that no more. But, I mean, yeah, everybody's guilty of that shit. See, I would, that's crazy, guys, but I actually, like, uh, has ever happened to, like, rappers or whatnot. Because basically what I do on YouTube, I review, I interview people. When I review music, if I don't like an album, I would just, like, go in and just, like, just, like, really just, like, go in on the album. And I feel bad because, like, I don't want to, like, be like, oh, this person's a shitty person. I meet them, like, you know what? So you're right. You, sometimes you got to, you know. Yeah, yeah, like, man, this nigga, man, fuck this nigga. And I got to see him, like, oh, he's a nice guy right here. I got to shake his hands. So, yeah, I, I, I agree with what you said, man. Uh, uh, yeah, basically what you said. <laughs> it's just crazy. Now I'm thinking about rappers, like, damn. Now I got to meet that person and be like, hey, how you doing? So, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, right like, there. hey, how you doing? I gave you a shitty review. <laughs> <laughs> like, my bad, bro. You're really fucking cool, bro. <laughs> Is that something you care about? Do you care about, like, uh, reviews? Like, is there a person that you want to review your music or, like, a website that you want to review your music? Um, I mean, like, it's cool to get your music reviewed, but, like, I wouldn't really care too much, like, about that, you know? Mm. Just, I mean, positive reviews are always cool, but, yeah, I wouldn't care too much. Okay. And, um, hey, I see you. Uh, I was going through Instagram. See, you love Skittles, man. Uh, I'm not a big candy guy, but I do like Skittles, too. Uh, are you a candy guy in general? Oh yeah, I love anything 
candy related or sweet. It's crazy. You like M and M's? Oh, I love M and M's. I think M and M's are fucking disgusting. I don't understand how people like M and M's. Uh, I, like, I do like Skittles though. Yeah. You like Skittles? Have you got that Skittles endorsement? Are they? Are they? Are they, are they uh, have they noticed you yet? We've tried. We've tried, but it doesn't look like they're gonna let up and give it. Mm. I understand. The line, the line in my name is too controversial. Mm, mm, mm. See, so that never makes you want to change your name to something less controversial. I mean, maybe if it was like early on, but at this point in my career, definitely can't change that. I understand. I understand. Well, hey man, let's get to these fan questions, and we'll be out of here, man. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we got first. Uh, we got Kim Bishop coming off the bat strong. He says, "What's up, man? Big fan. Got to ask, who's your favorite porn star?" Good question. I would say Riley Reed. Riley Reed, your favorite point. So have you have you met her, talked to her yet? I, I I'm like thinking about trying to get in touch with her because a couple of my homies know her, but I don't know if I want to make that push. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I if definitely I want to understand that. That definitely. <laughs> is there in, is there a point that you sh- for surely will want to meet? Uh, she don't do porn no more, but Sasha Gray. Okay. Yeah, okay. That. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got um, Odin. He says, "Uh, you're about to interview a um, future megastar. Ask him if we can expect more tracks like Zanarchy, Zanarchy, or more like Betrayed instead." Uh, um, you can expect honestly tracks similar to both of those. Okay. To be honest, yeah, and a lot of new stuff too. A lot of stuff that you haven't even heard, like uh, type of sound. Okay. Uh, Task Force Sector Six asks: Ask him if he's focused on making more hard songs like Redrum or more R and B flavored sing like Betray. But I guess it's kind of the same question. Yeah. Uh. No. We got bangers still ready to go. I'm saving those for my album. But yeah, we got uh stuff produced by Ronnie J. So you already know like this shit gonna slap. Okay. Uh, Shaky Heart asks: Ask him how in the fuck is he 21 years old and he still looks 12. I ask myself that question every day, and I wonder, how am I doing this? How, how long did you take Zans? Because th- would that, like, make you age a little bit? Like, does that make your face look yeah, kind of old? Yeah, Benjamin Button, like, I just aged backwards and shit. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> nah, um, yeah, I, I was taking it for, like, three years. Um, it definitely didn't affect the little baby face. Mm. That's crazy. Uh, Probably Yeah, that's crazy. Let's see, we got Art Jones. He says... Ask him what is he doing for rap and what does he want from rap? Uh, I'm trying to like just be something different. I'm trying to incorporate different sounds and ultimately I'm trying to stay around here for the long run. I'm just trying to show people that I'm going to keep evolving and keep maturing with my music and I'm going to be around for the long run. Okay. Uh, One of my favorite questions, I don't know how this nigga found this question. I mean, I don't know how this nigga found this at all, but are you familiar with fan fiction? Yeah, fan fiction, yeah. Do you know there's fan fiction about you? There it is. He said, ask him if he knows his fan fiction about him, and he linked me some fan fiction about you, and it's, like, very, very detailed. Wow. I, I need that link. <laughs> I could text you this link after we were done with this interview. Yeah, please. I'll just text you that link. Sorry, <laughs> it's really wild. Um, Caroline asks, ask him how quickly his life changed after Betrayed. I mean, it was overnight, yeah. It, it it was it changed immediately. Um, it was crazy. You know, I got my own career out in LA now. So many new endorsements and deals, and it's just it's insane how quickly it changed. All right, last two questions. Uh, versus you says, ask him what's his relationship with Matt Miller and if they got any music coming up. Um, I met Matt Miller at a Carnage Made in Tokyo video shoot with my bro Cole Bennett, and it was, we just met on some like meat type shit. He's super uh, super dope dude. Um, we don't have any music on the way, but I mean, who knows for the future, you know? Okay. And uh, N NPZ says, ask him if he likes his big bro Stephen Cannon's recent cover art designed by myself on Twitter. <laughs> Which one is that? Which one? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just gonna just, I'm just gonna say yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, this is great, man. Nice shout to NPZ. Um, yeah, man. Uh, anything else you want to say before we get out of here, man? Um, I just want to say, like, I appreciate everybody supporting me, everybody who uh, fucks with Xanarchy. Um, without, without y'all, I wouldn't be here, and I just appreciate y'all. All right, man. Until next time, I say what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate. Please.